Hello friends, welcome to A to Z Industry. This video focuses on important MCQs related to cast metal restoration. Inlay is cast gold, direct gold, both of the above, none of the above. Cast gold. Which of the following is best for carious posterior tooth with an undermined cusp? Amalgam restoration, cast metal restoration, glass and omer cement, composite restoration. Cast metal restoration. Angle at gingival bevel in class 2 in the cavity. 5 degree, 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree. 30 degree. Angle at gingival bevel in class 2 in the cavity is 30 degree. Retention in cast metal restoration is mainly by diverging vertical walls, parallel vertical walls, looting cement, all of the above. All of the above. The cava surface angle formed in cast metal restoration is 90 degree butt joint, 130 to 140 degree lap sliding fit, 130 to 140 degree butt joint, 90 degree lap sliding fit, 130 to 140 degree lap sliding fit. Scuds are used in cast metal inlay, class 2 amalgam, direct filling gold, ceramic inlay. Cast metal inlay. Scuds are used in cast metal inlay. Secondary flare provides a marginal metal of 10 to 20 degree, 30 to 40 degree, 90 to 110 degree, 140 to 150 degree. 30 to 40 degrees. The sprue in wax pattern should be placed at right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle. It depends upon the type of wax pattern. Acute angle. The sprue in a wax pattern should be placed at acute angle. Reverse bevels are given to facilitate easy withdrawal of wax pattern for purpose of aesthetics to counteract oblique forces for convenience form. To counteract oblique forces. Short bevel extends one third of enamel, two third of enamel, all of the enamel and half of dentin, all of the enamel. All of the enamel. Sprue pin is attached to posterior teeth in cusp tip, contact area, marginal ridge, proximal surface. Marginal ridge. Okay, it's all about the topic cast metal restorations. See you with a new video. Thank you.